Josh Bethany. I am president of Rock Media. I'm from, I'm actually from Brockton, uh, Massachusetts originally, but now I live in Plymouth. Okay, so you're a local. Yep, I am. I went to Cardinal Spelman High School, and uh, I got my undergrad at Bridgewater State, and then I got my master's at uh, Boston University. Were you working in the film um, field or this industry before you came to work here? Yeah, um, like I said, I was getting my master's at BU, okay. but before that I, I had worked as an editor on uh, a lot of shows for Ness and, and Fox Sportsnet, and I also used to do some camera stuff at Red Sox and Celtics games, and I also interned and worked a little bit at WGBH on American Experience. What is a typical day like for you? Well, we do the series every day, which is a daily webisode. That takes up a lot of time. Um, because you know it's kind of an ambitious thing to try to do it uh, even though they're short it's mm -hmm. hard to get a video together every day uh, the series the daily episode a lot of marketing meetings a lot of um, a lot of shoots and stuff mm -hmm. we have to go out on and a lot of people I have to make sure they're working on what they're supposed to work on down the road as I understand the you know studios just being built right now and um, what have you and I understand that production companies will be coming in mm -hmm. from outside um, you'll have some of your own productions here. What will you be transitioning to be doing? Oh, well, Rock Media mm -hmm. is actually going to be the production arm of the studio. So while everybody else is like, you know, we're not going to actually shoot productions. We're just going to be the rental facility. I'm actually going to hopefully be shooting productions in the sound stages and stuff. So, um, you know, the way that the studio is set up, Plymouth Rock Studios will be the physical place, mm -hmm. and Rock Media will be one of the tenants, actually, that produces stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and our first thing is the series and the websites. Can you give us any tips of, you know, maybe some shows that might be coming down uh, the road as well? Or is it inside information Well, right now? I can't talk about anything except that Josh Bethany life story will probably be shot here. <laughs> <laughs> great. That's well, it. we've got him on film about. already, so <laughs> we're all set with that. Yeah. That's great. And the Bobby Nolette life story might be there. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we so, go. Yeah. With that, I already predicted that one's going to be a flop. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the funnest thing about your job? Oh, uh, the fact that... Um, Rich and I, Rich and I were talking. I know you already talked to Rich, but Rich and I, um, we talk about this all the time. Is a lot of people are here mm -hmm. waiting for when the studio opens, but Rich and I are already doing what we want to be doing. I mean, we're making content every day, which is what we've always wanted to do. And that's the most exciting thing about me is a lot of people are waiting for the studio to be built, but you know, we're already doing what we want to be doing right now, so it's exciting. Person before you told me that it's about seven thousand people so far who have you know joined the uh -huh. site, they've up been up uploading their things and. Many of them hoping to be discovered by you sure. and um, what have you. Are you actually looking at many of the videos? Yeah, that? well, um, one of the first people we brought in, we found from the site, uh, A New Kids on the Rock, which was like Neil Sisterica, who has had uh, a lot of people on YouTube follow him. But uh, a lot of the content, they actually made stuff for the site first, and then we were able to bring them in to do some more stuff. And they were featured on the series, and they do their other web stuff. But... Yeah, we've done some marketing video stuff and found people on the website uh, to help us with that as far as talent and stuff like that. The, the thing is, there's, there's not too many productions that we're internally working on, so we haven't been able to really reach for too many production personnel people. Um, but as you know, the studio continues to be built and things kind of pick up around here for as far as what we can work on, then yeah, that's going to be a place we're going to look because we're building, we, we really believe in the idea of Hollywood East the idea that it's uh, kind of a new place where a lot of people who haven't had the opportunities that people in Los Angeles and New York have had. Right. And we, we really believe in that and really want to make sure that we take advantage of that. And it's one of the reasons that we really care about bringing in some of the colleges and the high school kids and, and making sure that, um, you know, the young people of this region have the opportunity to, you know, tell some stories and to be involved in the creative process. Did you work closely with, like, the Boston Film um uh, office. The office, yeah. The yeah, office. well, not closely, closely, but I, I've, you know, Nick and I have, actually, I'm supposed to call Nick in, in like 10 minutes right now. Oh, but, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, we do, um, we went to the PGA, um, the PGA conference in Los Angeles, and Nick went with us, and we had a chance to talk to us. Hello. Uh, Nick Paleolagos has been fantastic for, for the Massachusetts film industry because he really is a good leader and he really understands how to bring these productions here and, and the, you know, the industry's growth in this region during his reign speaks for itself. I mean, I don't need to make the case for that, but, um, but he has done a lot and I know David and Nero wouldn't be here if he wasn't the, in charge of that. So.
Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like, and I know that, you know, Plymouth Rock isn't, you know, directly associated with this. It just seems like everywhere I go, I mean, all summer long, we had Martin Scorsese and Leonardo oh, DiCaprio yeah, and everybody yeah. down in my town and in yeah. Hull, and then, um, you know, Ben Affleck's always around Quincy and yeah. whatever you shooting. So it, there does seem to be a lot of, you know, A-listers who are filming on the South Shore right yeah. now. So Well, a lot of that is because of the tax credits. I mm-hmm. mean, obviously, uh, you know, it makes sense to shoot here. Right. I think... Uh, and people get tired of. I remember watching, you know, movies, and I can think of one that sticks out of my head. I remember, like American Pie. I'm mm-hmm. talking about American Pie, but I remember they're supposed to be in like Detroit or, or I think it's Detroit or Michigan. Mm-hmm. And you look in the back and you see palm trees, and it's like you know they couldn't afford it because of the way that the system was set up. They couldn't fly people out to you know Michigan right. to shoot it. Or yeah. but now that the, a lot of states have adopted tax incentives, it makes sense to shoot in different looking locations, and the movies are going to be better for it. I mean. I'm not the only person who gets sick of just seeing palm trees and L.A. locales being represented in movies. It's mm-hmm. it's about time, and especially Massachusetts, because there's so much unique architecture and so much unique, um, you know, locations and the deep history we have. I mean, it's about time that they've been able to really put some of that on the screen more than before. And my last question, Mark, is the same one. Okay, when people hear where you work, what you do, what have you, what's the number one question you get? <laughs> Uh, what's the number one question I get? Yeah. Uh, Plymouth Rock Studios, is that open yet? Probably. <laughs> is that open yet? Yeah. And you say, what do you say? And I say, uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> soon. You say soon. I right? say, well, I, oh, is it, so, yeah, I say soon. I say 2011. And is the second question, G, can you get me a job there? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the first question, but I didn't want to. And you say, go to college for that, work for a production company. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's go to true. college, you know, work for a production company. Uh, or just wait till the studio's open and there's going to be a bunch more jobs, so we're going to need a bunch more people. So. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your oh, time. Thank you. I appreciate it. it. Thank you.